I just thought it was a, that's a really good ball game. I mean, there's some really good pitching, and you know, we put together one good inning and uh, had had a lot of runners out there and couldn't get the big hit. Give AM's pitching staff credit; they worked out of some jams and brought a lot of different looks, mostly lefty looks, but they were different. And uh, you know, we we made a really really good play. Obviously, I didn't; they did uh, in the in the eighth inning when. Uh, you know, Hunter Grimes made an incredible throw to the plate. Swung that momentum right back into our dugout. Callie goes down one, two in the count, fights off some pitches, ends up drawing a walk. And then uh, high fastball, swing and miss, breaking ball, home run. We got a two run lead. And, um, you know, Smith had just enough to finish him off there in the ninth. I mean, we've been struggling. We've had a lot of injuries. Might have had another injury tonight. I don't know yet, but. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's good to get a win. It's good to get a win in league. Dave, on the uh, the play by Grimes, just what was your perspective on that? It looked like he had to run quite a ways just to to make the catch, too. Yeah, I mean, he he, uh, I felt like he got a really good read on the ball, had a lot of momentum. Out, you know, moving towards the plate, he kind of got around the ball a little bit, and uh, he used his uh, former infield skills there to get rid of that ball really fast. And he kind of short arm darted it, made a perfect throw, played the angle a little bit, and the ball hit the grass and shot to the catcher. And great play, great tag. You know, uh, felt like Roland. You know, he's he also plays first base, and he showed a little bit of that right there. He just popped that tag down. It was great. You mentioned you might have another injury. Can you tell us who that might be? Well, you know, we were Carter. Carter. You know, he's been sore, and he's sore again. So it's probably not a good sign. Led to maybe the decision to go to, to Hagen when you we did. We were going to go to Hagen anyway because we didn't like what we were seeing out there. It wasn't the normal stuff. Coach, it seemed like Holland's velo was down a little bit and he just wasn't as sharp. He was down. Yeah, I was just wondering what you saw from his outing and just what you make yeah. of what you saw. Velocity was down. Um, you know, it wasn't super sharp. They were on him pretty good. You know, we were dodging bullets there for a little bit. And then, you know, they got us with the three-run homer. Um, really don't know what to say. Just that, uh, you know, he's been better. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'll leave it at that. He's not having any issues with his arm or anything, though. Griffin had a few hits for you, but him and Stovall had the two big swings that provided six of the runs, I believe. Uh, just what did you see on both of those plays? Well, you know, on Stovall's, um, obviously that was huge. We'd already scored one. You know, and uh, the hitter before him didn't get a run in, and that was disappointing. So then it was up to him with two outs. Um, and it wasn't just about making contact then. He had to get a hit or they had to make an error or walk or whatever. And, uh, you know, he was a 1 0 count. He swung the ball in the dirt. And you're kind of thinking, wow, you know, left on left. And he uh, he fought his way back into the count. I think he fought off a 3 2 pitch and then got him, a, I think it was a 3 2 slider. First one was a was a fastball, and that was a slider. And I mean, he just got extended on it and popped it up there on the roof. Uh, just a really good job of staying on the ball, left on left. And then obviously with Jace's swing, he hits left. He's just as good as he hits righties. If you look at the numbers, we don't really care if it's right or left with him. I mean, it's he's he's hitting 360, 370 against lefties, I think, and. You know, he 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 guessed on the first pitch he, that he was going to get him a fastball, and it was just a little bit too high to hit. But he fouled it off. He was on it, and then super job hitting a breaking ball. Maybe he felt like he was going to get it, or he just saw it. But he he didn't hit it on the sweet spot, but he hit it solid. And uh, you know, we knew it was going when it left the bat. In the in the middle innings, there as the lead slipped away, and you started leaving a whole bunch of guys on base. What was what was the mood like in the dugout? Well, uh, we weren't having wine and cheese. I can tell you that it wasn't very fun. So, uh, it was, uh, it was guys talking to each other about staying positive. The coaches were saying, you got to stay positive. You know, I just kept mentioning that the game, now we have a four inning game. We need to win it. Then we have a three inning game outscore them the last three. And then, you know, I didn't say much after that. I mean, when we got out of that that bases loaded jam or second and third and one out. And we had the same situation. We didn't score and Hagen did a tremendous job there and they didn't score. And, uh, 
yeah, I think that was the seventh, maybe. I don't know what it was. The game's kind of all blurry to me right now. So, uh, but it was just some, some really good pitching by both sides there. For the most part, we had a couple of big swings and the last one ended up winning the game for us. You know who your starter is going to be tomorrow? Not exactly. Yeah. Hey, Dave, um, Smith, I, yeah, the, the Aggies got the, a runner to third, I guess, was in the seventh with no outs, and then Hagen was able to keep him there. Just what do you think of the job he did there and just his overall performance? Well, Hagen is, has a lot of experience at the end of games. Uh, he's come in some tough situations and finished games. He's He's re been a starter or a reliever. I mean, he knows how to wiggle out of it. And uh, he made some really good pitches. Got a strikeout and a pop-up and – I don't know what else. And, uh, you know, had a great play by another, you know, or by our left fielder. I mean, it was, there was a couple innings there that it was a little stressful. And uh, he just, he has a knack for finishing things up. I think one of the outs was a shallow fly to Diggs and they didn't challenge his arm. Um, yeah, I wouldn't either. I mean, he, it, it wasn't too far out there and, his face and home plate, I think that would have been, you know, if he doesn't throw it away, I think he'd have been out by a lot. Now, on Peyton's slam, I think he was ahead 3-1. They threw a pitch, and Peyton looked, reacted like he thought it was a ball. He was getting ready to head to first base, had to come back, but that ends up being a grand slam. So I guess that's one of those instances where, where you're glad uh, he didn't take a walk. Um, I don't remember exactly. All I know is he hit one out of the park and we scored four runs. <laughs> so. That's all I got. And then when you had a rough weekend, you had Tuesday night, didn't go your way. How big to to stop yeah. the bleeding? And, and, mm -hmm. and you had a 3-5-0 lead and you lose that, but then you find a way to win. I mean, how big a win was this? It was a big win for us. I mean, you look at the lineup, there's a lot of names people don't recognize too much. You know, they haven't played a lot. And uh, they played they played good. They played just good enough. And uh, But it was it was a big win for us. Just, you know, it's hard, it's hard losing in league. It's hard losing – you know, the way we lost in game three over there with a four-run lead, didn't get an out, and they beat us. And uh, tonight to have it kind of flip and go our way, um, it, it was it was big for our team. Well, you know, the Grimes' first SEC start, he makes a play like that with, with the game on the line, you know. I mean, what, what does that maybe say about him? Well, I think the moment wasn't too big for him, and he knew before the ball was pitched exactly what he was going to do with it, and I'm sure – the good defenders are thinking about it and they're thinking if they hit it to me, this is what I'm going to do. And he, there it was, he came firing in momentum, caught it, released it as quick as you can. I mean, that's about as good as it gets. Throw was about as nice as it could be. And uh, it could go all year and you won't see a play like that. Dave, with, with so many guys in and out of the lineup, I mean, when you get ready to, to, to make out the lineup every day, you know, how are you trying to get that fit, right? Trying to get guys in the right spot. What's the process? Just trying to, you know, back one hitter up with another, you know, try not to put three lefts together when they're starting a lefty. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what went on today. If you got your starters, you know, you the guys that have been playing there, you know, we, we got a switch hitter out, so it doesn't really matter, and leadoff guy, and then, you know, a right-handed power guy that usually hits three or four and take those two guys out, you know, it's it, – you have to manipulate it a little bit. I mean, I don't sit in my office and do it all by myself. I'll write it up, then I'll call the coaches in, and we'll we'll go through it a little bit and see what they think. And you know, I want to get some feedback. And uh, you know, it was a team effort. You know, the guys got to we got to try to put them in the right position in the order, and hopefully, they get an opportunity to drive and run, and they do it. Two homers off Hunter today. A couple of other hard hit balls. Just where do you kind of assess where he's at at this point in the season as your Friday night guy? Well, you know, I'm not worried about his homers and I'm not worried about hard hit balls. I'm just worried about him throwing strikes and pitching. And I don't really want to assess where he is right now in the season, to be honest with you. Aside from the big play that Grimes had, how would you assess his defense overall tonight? How do I feel like our defense was overall? The Hunter's uh, defense in, in particular. Was good. He missed, you know, he saw the lefty slash one and he started running in early in the game with the bases loaded. Um, I think it was Moss had hit it, two outs. And he, right when it was hit, we were all like, yeah. And then we're like, uh oh, because he's running in. But then he made a, honestly, he made himself have to make a great play over his shoulder, over his head. And that was a difficult catch. I, I didn't know if he was going to make it, but 
I think everything else was he he did a great job. You mentioned Holland's velo being down. Do you think maybe getting an extra day, you know, play, pitching on Friday next week may help him a little bit? Could it be a fatigue thing? Yeah, or? I mean, just maybe just to just to give him rest, give his body rest, his legs rest. Um, it all adds up, you know. You see, from the outside looking in, you just see a game being played sometimes, but you guys don't. But maybe the average fan does. But there's a lot going on. There's guys that are banged up. There's guys that are sick. They're getting ready for finals. There's a lot going on, and uh, you know, so you, 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 an extra day can be big, and um, hopefully, it'll help him for next week. Roland and Bolton uh, have kind of struggled offensively this year, but they both, I think, combined reach base like seven times today. What did you think about the bottom of your order today? I thought they did a great job of uh, seeing some pitches. Um, you know, Bolton chopped that three-two pitch in the in the four, three-four hole and. Got an infield hit, and uh, I thought Moss made a great play. I thought it was going to get by him. And, um, you know, obviously that that flipped the order up, and, you know, with, and that was with the one out. Then I think Kendall made the second, then we hit the grand, you know, they hit the grand slam. But uh, I thought Roland took some good hacks. He, he smoked that ball there in the eighth. Um, you know, he just hit it the wrong part of the field. If he pulls it a little bit, it might get out of the park or for sure get a double on him. But I thought the end did a nice job. Anybody out at the plate from the outfield? Um, I haven't thrown a guy out at the plate from the outfield, but recently I've kind of transitioned to the outfield. It was kind of middle of last year at McLennan, and then this year I've transitioned to the outfield, and I've felt pretty comfortable with it. Just take us through that play, if you would. Um, it was kind of hit in the left center gap, and main goal was trying to get in front of it and catch it and then make a strong throw to the plate. For you two, I mean, what did you think of, of that play? And how big was it to the outcome? Yeah, I mean, that was awesome. Um, I don't think people realize how tough of a play that is, um, given that he had to go all the way to his left, and he's a right-handed thrower, having to, like, move his body back square up to the plate and putting an absolute dot there. I mean, that's un unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I was I was running behind, uh, to back up home, and then I kind of just saw the ball coming in, and I saw Parker tag, and I was like, holy cow. Hunter, there was also a play there and I think the third inning where you maybe came in and they had to race back to get it. Could you walk us through that play and uh, maybe what you saw on that? Um, yeah, it was obviously a, a misread by me. And then luckily it was hanging up in the air long enough where I could get back there and catch it. Chase, you've played all over the outfield and you've seen several different guys play beside you and everything. Just uh, what's it been like having to deal with that and how do you think you know he's handling it? Yeah, I think Hunter's handling it great. Uh -huh. I think Kendall Diggs is doing a great job as well. Um, whoever else we throw out there, I know it's going to do a good job. Um, but playing uh, all the different positions, it's very new to me, um, just given that I'd really just played like the corner and then played right most this year. Um, but going back over to left for a couple of games has been good. But And then and playing center, you create your own angle. So um, I'm getting pretty comfortable out there, though. Hey, and you found yourself in a, in a couple jams there, there there at the end. I mean, what, what's the what's the mindset for you like when you get out of those? Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously pumped, but I mean, I look back at it. I got behind the count a lot, and then I think I walked someone. And then I just, I mean, it's a little frustrating at the time, but after you get out of it, it's like pretty exhilarating. Chase, you you obviously hit the home run right after uh, Hunter made the play. You know, can can you walk us through what you're feeling and and taking that mindset into that at bat? Yeah. Um, also, I mean, before that, I mean, Hunter made an awesome throw just uh, to keep us tied right there. Um, Caleb Cali comes up, draws an awesome walk to even put me in this position um, to get us two run lead. Um, but I knew when they brought that lefty in um, that he was probably going to come in there and spin. Um, first pitch was a fastball up. I kind of got outside of my approach, um, but I stuck with it and I was just going to sit on a sit on a slider or something. And luckily, I hung one over the plate and I put a good swing on it. Jay, Jay, this year you're obviously a different player than you were last year. Could you? Kind of walk me through that maturation process of why you're getting different results this year. Yeah, ultimately, I think that uh, it's just really a confidence thing. Um, you know, last year I learned a lot about myself just as a player and as a person. Um, not playing every day was different. Um, failing at an alarming rate was was really hard, but it all shaped me to, I believe, to, to work harder and, like, push through those times to put me in a good time, which is, like, right now. And so... I think that my confidence level is the biggest thing right now. I'm just playing confident, and I think it just leads to a lot of success. Yeah, I guess for for me, for for 
Jay saying, Hagen, just you guys have lost four in a row. Um, how big was it? And then you, you're up five nothing. Things are looking pretty good. They come back and tie it. Um, how big was it to win this one? Yeah, I mean, it was huge. I mean, no one wants to lose uh, four, four or five in a row. What was it? It was four in a row. Four, so no one wants five. to lose four in a row. So, I mean, for us to get a win to, um, Friday, I mean, Thursday, it's really big for the weekend. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we lost four in a row. I don't think anyone was really panicking. You know, it kind of banged up a little bit. But with that being said, you know, we got guys that are going to step up, um, whether it be in the pitching staff or being in, on the field and playing a position. Um, but I think – the main thing with us is I know that we're going to give, you know, 100% fight all the time, and uh, we're just going to go out there and play as hard as we can. I don't know if you guys are in here. Somebody asked Dave about the mood in the dugout. when you got, I think you guys left two runners on in the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Dave said we weren't having wine wine and cheese. Um, well, what, what, from your all's the player perspective, uh, any you guys want to take us, what, what was the mood and kind of how would you stay upbeat to win at the end? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Jace, why don't you take it? yeah, I mean, the dugout might have been a little down. Um, but I think that just comes with uh, just frustration because we all know we're good players. We all know we want to do that and make, get the big hit. And sometimes it doesn't happen. That's just baseball. Um, but, you know, I think the guys in the dugout do a great job of cheering us on. And Hunter, that, one more, that, that was your first SEC start, I think, and just your fourth overall. Yes, um, you know, pretty big spot. Kind of, and you came through. Well, what, 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 how nervous were you or were you nervous? Kind of what was the feeling going into the game and then, you know, playing, you know, starting a game like this? Um, I mean, obviously I was pretty nervous. I feel like everyone would be, but I kind of just looked at it as it's just another start. It's another game, whether it's Arkansas or somewhere else. I just wanted to keep that same mindset and keep the confidence that I have in myself and treat it as a every other start. Hey, again, it sounds like Brady Tiger's going to make his return this weekend at some point. Just what have you seen from him? How like how, how's how's he doing? Is he pretty excited to, to get back out there? Yeah, I think he's pretty excited. I mean, it's huge for the pitching staff. To get a guy like that back through a ton of innings for us in high leverage situations last year. So, I mean, I think everyone's pumped. Given how many um, hitters A&M has back in the lineup from last year when you faced him, how much did you draw on the – the outing that you had against him last year? Um, I didn't think about it at all, honestly. I don't even remember what I did against him. I don't think I did very good, though. 